Anya Taylor-Joy makes her way back to the desert and this time she's rocking a very bad haircut. She has a new face cream. I don't know the product yet, but it's part of a night routine. And on top of that, you have Chris Hemsworth. Now reports are coming in that he's had a nose job. So things are pretty crazy in the wasteland. Furiosa is a post-apocalyptic adventure film by the legendary mastermind George Miller. Now it serves as both a spin-off and a prequel, which is absolutely crazy, if you ask me. At no point should this movie work, but it does. The movie serves as an origin story for Furiosa, previously portrayed by Charlize Theron from Benoni. Yes, I see you. Look, guys, the plot is the last thing that you actually care about in these type of movies. But this time around, I must take my head off to George Miller for incorporating an emotional storyline, focusing on world building, which was completely missing in Fury Road. So it's a turn of pace and it kind of gives the movie a little edge. But you all know what we want to see in these movies. It's been nine years since the last movie, so I actually have to go back and rewatch that movie because if you ask me now what happened in that movie, um, I'm not too sure. I just remember the action sequences, and that's why we are all here, right? So basically, the story acts as a tool rather than being the main focus, and that's okay. I don't have any problems with that. Anya Taylor-Joy's performance as Furiosa should be applauded in many aspects. Portraying a character in a prequel is very difficult because your portrayal of this character needs to lead in to what we have already seen on screen. Because, I mean, you're portraying somebody that we know. It's a character that everybody has been familiarized with. So your portrayal needs to lead directly into that character. It needs to be an arc which makes you understand where this character actually comes from. And I feel like she pulled it off, which was difficult, but it just showcases what a brilliant actress she is. And she works very well as an action hero. Heroine. Heroine. I'm not talking about heroine. Stop it. The transition from the prequel into Fury Road needed to be seamless and she definitely pulled that off now when it comes to chris hemsworth it's over the top it's almost at the point where it's it's ridiculous but he manages to pull it off and i i know this guy is going to become an iconic villain on screen he just he just oozes bad vibes Normally, if the villain is great, then the rest of the movie will just follow. And I mean, with a name like Warlord Dementis, you already know that the guy is loopy. He is off his locker. It just shows off his versatility as an actor. And I feel it was a, it was a great casting. So the nose, the nose works. Yes, the nose does work. Now, his performance is exactly what the movie needed opposite Anya Taylor-Joy as Furiosa. And their chemistry between them works well. And I feel like they both elevate the material from just being another Mad Max movie. We've come to that part that everybody wants to talk about. This is the main reason you go and you watch a Mad Max movie. You want to see high octane adrenaline fuel pumping burning giant trucks exploding people screaming flying off cars motorcycles whatever giant monster trucks bring on all that and then some that's what everybody wants to see and george miller knows this he knows that's why when he goes in and he does these movies, he knows that if the story doesn't work, I'm going to catch you guys with the action set pieces. And it's over the top. It's outlandish. It's crazy. And it works so well. I still think Fury Road 
at the time when he came out, it was absolutely mind blowing and we didn't expect that. So going into this one, we already know what he did in that previous movie, but it still looks good on screen, guys. And I mean, to have all this go down in a desert, the setting of the desert is absolutely stunning. But one thing I would say, I prefer the look of Dune Part 2. Denis Villeneuve definitely knew that he wanted to go for that realism aspect. My only problem with the way this looks is it feels like green screen. There's too much green screen going on here. And it just looks like that episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog where the mommy is looking for the slab. The slab. In that aspect, the cinematography is great. VFX works. It just, there's just a certain aspect of the look that doesn't resonate with me. I, I think if this came out before June, I would have definitely leaned into it a little bit more. But that's where Villeneuve succeeds by adding a sense of realism into the mix and that's why June Part 2 works so well. So I'm not trying to compare the two, but these are both the biggest blockbusters of the year so far. So there will be that obvious comparison because of the landscape. All in all, the score works very well with the movie. The aesthetic and that heavy metal, hard rock vibe, it just adds to the atmosphere and that high octane adrenaline that I was talking about earlier. So it's it's brilliant, but yes, it's not Hans Zimmer. All in all, guys, I think this should be the end of the franchise. I don't know. I think this is the end of the role because my biggest question is where do you go from here? Where do you take the story? Are you gonna focus on new characters or are you gonna continue the story of Furiosa? And I feel like I've had a good dose of these movies. I don't think I'll be able to go in with the same excitement as I went in with this movie because Fury Road was incredible and this is a great movie. It's just a different vibe. But I feel like I've seen enough. I've seen enough because how many times can you pull this off? I mean, if George Miller can do another one, that would just be crazy. That would be insane. and. Chances are it's probably working on the next one. Guys, I really like this movie. I really enjoy this movie. I feel like the movie was incredible. It was exactly what I wanted to see from a Mad Max movie and then some. So it's definitely a surprise package. Although I would say it's not as good as Fury Road. I just think that Fury Road was a moment in time and it just blew everyone away this sort of came under the radar and i feel like the hype levels for this wasn't that high and it wasn't as expected you know so it definitely kind of just falls a little short for me but it's definitely a brilliant movie i know some people are going to call it a masterpiece but don't get me wrong guys this is not a movie for everyone not everybody will like this movie if this is not your particular brand of movie you will be annoyed you will be like what the hell am i watching you will have that reaction from the movie so the safest bet is go back watch fury road decide for yourself if this is something for me then you come to furiosa it will definitely add to the experience but if you didn't like fury road i don't think this brings anything new to the table that would change your mind if i'm being honest the movie features great performances cinematography is fantastic action set pieces is on point the story is a little different it features a lot more emotional depth which is very welcoming so i definitely like that aspect of the movie and it's a summer blockbuster by heart and that's what you should view it as i definitely see a few nominations again by the academy it definitely has that vibe to it but i'm gonna compare it again if i put this movie next to dune part two it's not similar but there's just that little something that's missing from 
putting it on the same level as Dune Part Two, but it comes in as a at a close second as the second best movie I've seen this year. It's it's a remarkable achievement. George Miller does it again, and it, it's very hard to doubt George Miller because every time he comes back, he comes back with a surprise, and this is definitely a surprise package. So. It's time for that rating, guys. Furiosa. I'll give it a strong four out of five. The movie is great. The movie is almost perfect. It has a lot of flaws, I'm not gonna lie, but it's one of those movies that its execution is on point and it just works. No wonder people call him a mastermind because this, you can only create something like this if you are an absolute genius. And I think that is what George Miller is. Anya Taylor, brilliant. Chris Hemsworth, brilliant. And it's a quality movie. It's it's a great film. And you wouldn't be disappointed if you watch this. But only if you liked Fury Road. If not, then <laughs> you might be in for a long ride at the cinema. I'm just saying. So that's it for me, guys. Please let me know what you think about Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. I think it's brilliant, and I can't wait to see it again. I'm, I think I'll wait to watch it again. It's not something like Dune Part 2 where I'll be rushing back to the cinema immediately to watch it again. But it's definitely, it's a, it's a masterpiece in its own right. It stands out as a unique film, and... That's it for me, guys. Please let me know down below in the comment section. Have you guys watched Fury Road? Are you going to watch Furiosa? Let me know. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys. That's it for me. I will definitely catch you on the next video.